Since the Supreme Court of Nigeria on the 2nd of December 2022 ordered INEC to carry out fresh delineation of electoral wards and polling units in Wari North, Wari South and Wari Southwest local government areas of Delta State, INEC is in the process of complying with the order of the Supreme Court by holding stakeholders' meetings preparatory to the fieldwork towards the delineation. However, in recent times, some individuals and groups from the Ishakiri ethnic nationality have been in the news raising issues of security concerns in Mwari in relation to the implementation of the Supreme Court judgment. Well, joining us now on the show as we take reactions on INEX delineation of electoral wards and polling units in Wari North, Wari South and Wari Southwest local government areas of Delta State is Eric Omari, the lawyer who represented the Ijos at the Supreme Court. And he'll be, he is being joined by Chief Victor Akpo Okumagba, Secretary, Wari Urobo National Congress. Good morning, gentlemen. Welcome to the morning show. Okay. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Mr. Omare. Well, we are not complete in this conversation. We have the Ijo lawyer. We have an Urubo chief. The big issue is with the Shekiris. The Shekiris continue to insist that Wari Kingdom belongs to them. And that this uh, delineation of uh, words it's an attempt by the Jos and the Urubus to grab more power in Wari Kingdom. However, this is without prejudice to the ruling of Justice uh, Abba Aji, who gave the order after the case had failed at the High Court in Asaba, and had also failed at the Court of Appeal uh, Judicial Division. We have been on this matter since 2006, it passed since 1997. So it would have been better if we had three, the three groups represented this morning. But let us start with that issue raised by uh, uh, Chief uh, Luri, Luri Ogbebo, Rita Luri Ogbebo, this same week, that uh, Urobos and uh, Ijos are trying to grab uh, uh, Ishekri uh, land and uh, authority. Let's start with you, uh, Chief Okumaga, since you are with us in this studio. And then we hear from you, uh, Eric Omari. Thank you very much. Uh, let me take the first one first, the issue of ownership of worry. Uh, I think that is a very wrong impression given to the public. The issue of, the, 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 the issue of ownership of worry, of worry has been laid to rest a long time ago. In the case of Idudu, Idudu, D-O, Idudu, versus Okumagba. Versus Okumagba. Yeah, that's the case. Has put to rest the ownership of Wari. For anybody to come up and say that Wari is the property or the, or the Shekiris are the owners of Wari is very erroneous. Very, very erroneous. And if you look at the judgment, I don't want to overheat the polity right now, because what we are looking for is peace in Wari. Otherwise, Abati, you are a lawyer. You know what I'm talking about. The Okumagba Idudu case is an authority in the Nigerian legal system today. You understand? It is that case that established the four ways to ascertain ownership of land. Now, if you are talking, that is the extant judgment we have in worry. And in that judgment, since they brought that issue, in that judgment, the court held, among other things, that Guinea, who is the progenitor of the Shekiri people, the Beni Prince, did not get to worry township. It's in the judgment. Now, let us take this whole thing the way they ought to be taken. If you are saying worry belongs to you, and the Supreme Court have ruled that worry, you did not get to worry. The Shekiri did not get to worry township. We are getting something very wrong here. There's a distinction between worry South local government area and worry township. Like as you have worry North local government area and Coco township. You cannot expect somebody from Ogeye in worry North local government area to come and claim indigenous of Coco. That is what 
is because of the nature of Wari, Wari town, everybody wants to claim Wari. There is no ancestral root of any Shekere man to Wari township. Rita Lori, Chief Rita Lori, with due respect, Chief Rita Lori has no connection to Wari township. She's from Mijigba and Inori. She has no business with Wari town. The court has declared that Wari township belongs to the Robo people and the Jaws. So for anybody to come and put up any story to say you have judgment, bring your judgment. Bring your judgment and you, when you come like this, you quote your judgment. W4868 has established it, affirmed by the Supreme Court, XC309, 1974, that worry three brothers <laughs> found. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because we must get these things clear. We have decided that let us live together, but they said no. They want to get monopoly or take monopoly of the entire world. You say, sometimes they say, what is the seat of their Olu? How can you say such a thing? How can you say such a thing? So, my brother, the issue of ownership is a very clear and ambiguous matter that has been laid to rest a long time ago. But quickly, your reaction to the ruling and the handling of it uh, by INEC subsequently. Because INEC has not done the delineation. I yes. Think. Yeah. You see, uh, on the issue of delineation, in 1997-98, INEC, then NECO, NECOM, created additional or redelineate the worry words from 10 to 12. Now, you, you, let me tell you something about this 10 word and 12 word. Under the 10 word structure, it was based on an application fiat. Nobody was aware. All of a sudden, they came up with 10, word, 12, 10 and 12 words. On that 10 word structure, you will see a situation where an Urubo community is mixed with an Ishekiri community and created a word for the Ishekiri people. Looking at those ambiguities and every other things, INEC now decided in 1998 to create, to redelineate the word to create a balance, which they did. Then in 1997, when they got wind of the creation, the redelineation, they rushed to court. Truly, they got judgment. Okay, so let's bring in uh, Mr. Mare, who was the uh, lawyer directly involved in the matter. Yes, Mr. Mare, your take on this matter. We, are, we thank, introduce you thank, as thank you so the much for lawyer. Having me. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, uh, first, I endorse all that um, Chief uh, Victor Kumamba said with respect uh, to the issues of historical ownership of worry. But in respect of the specific issue, I think that um, the claim by Chief uh, Lita Lori is diversionary. Uh, it is um, unnecessary because it's, it's not in tune with the factual reality on ground. Because when you see Shakiri's own worry, the Jones are trying to uh, reap where they don't sow. What are you trying to say? Are you saying that there are no young people in worry? That is not the true picture. The fact is that the, the young people of Ogbejon, Baramatu, Igbema, Isaba, and the are part of Ogbejon. And in, in actual fact, the headquarters of Wari Southwest local government area, which form part of the Wari federal constituency, is in Ogbejon and the young community. So when you make claim at some level in life, you have to be conscious of the factual situation. Now, let's go to the specific issue of uh, the Supreme Court judgment. Uh, as Okumamba explained, sometime around 1997 to 1998, what really nations were done? That was a period when the young people were protesting against the relocation of the Wari Southwest Legal Government headquarters from Ogbejon to Gidigbe. Therefore, the Jones did not participate in the political process. So the delineation was done in such a way that there was no reference to the world uh, uh, population and the physical existence of the people. So the young people protested and eventually went to court to say, look, the word delineation in Worry Southwest, Worry South, and Worry North was not properly done according to existing population figures. For example, in Worry South, before, in a, as far back as 1955, the young people had four words Obijon uh, Ward 1, Obijon Ward 2, Edastan 1, and 2. They were young words under the Worry uh, the, uh, the Division, uh, Worry uh, Area Council, Worry Urban Area Council at that time. But today, those different words are now bacchanized into units in different electoral wards, and thereby making the young people weak. In Worry Southwest, 
where the young people population constitute about 80%. They were given four words, while the people constituting 20% were given six words. The same thing applies to worry not, where the young population is about 60 to 70%, giving four words while the others are giving uh, uh, six words. So the judge said, no, this is not in line with the law. And that was why we went to court. And the court, as you have noted, the case went up to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court, yes, there is merit in what the young people have said. So INEC, go back and do fresh delineation. The synonym for fresh is new, meaning that INEC, go back, start from square one, and do what is proper according to your laws. And that judgment, in my opinion, didn't say that one ethnic group should get to a particular number of words. It gives opportunity to, to everybody to present their facts and for INEC to do delineation according to what is on ground. And that's why, for some of us, it is very funny that a section of uh, the people that constitute the uh, World Federal Constituency are protesting. What exactly are you protesting against? Since you have the opportunity, I'd just like, like just any other group, on to present to that your comments facts. that you've just made about INEC dealing with what's on the ground, because some of the words that are being used to describe how INEC is implementing this process, and I quote, uh, INEC are being labeled as selective and mischievous, and they are saying there are abnormalities in the manner in which this delineation is being pursued. What's your take on that? You know, there, there, is, there is no abnormality. First, as noted earlier, it's a judgment of the highest court in the land, the Supreme Court. Now, in pursuant to, INEC had a stakeholders meeting with the three ethnic group representatives, including the political leaders of the place. On the 1st of February, 2023, there was a follow-up meeting on the 4th of April, 2023. Then the last meeting we had was on the 21st of March, 2024. And that meeting had in attendance representative of traditional rulers of all the three ethnic groups, youth leaders and women leaders. And all the decisions that were taken at that meeting were a product of consensus based on law and order. So the question of uh, INEC not following rule of law does not arise. They are all diversionary arguments. And again, uh, the issue of security, I need to just uh, uh, mention this. If you are a lorry mentioned security, that there are security threats, please, there is no security threat in worry at all. If there is any part of Nigeria that is safe now, worry belongs to one of those groups. It is wrong for people to sit in the comfort of their houses in Lagos and Abuja and try to demarket worry. It is not true. Our people are enthusiastically looking forward to this delineation because they feel that it will afford them the opportunity to participate in the political process. So there's no issue of threat in worry. INEC, so far, the only grievance we have as a young people is that INEC ought to have complied with the judgment immediately and not delay up to this point. Beyond that, INEC has not violated any rule with respect to the procedure for delineation. Are you really sure that there are no pushbacks in worry as regards, you know, security threats with all of this? Because not every party is happy about it. And this attempt to quickly set aside or push aside what Rita Laurie says. Some of them might not be the exactitude as regards facts, but she has a point to be made here. And it also goes back, and that's why, Dr. Mati, you said it before, this conversation is not complete. Because if we had had, we put on the Shakiri man here too, definitely we'll have had a more robust and more rounded conversation. So this attempt us to push away the things. I mean, when you were saying, for instance, that the, uh, the Shakiris can't say that the uh, worry is their stool, but their, their king is being called Ulu of worry, or is it Ulu of a Shakiri, like some of you like to connote it. So they have a right in all of this. What do you say to all of that? And they have a right for discord and tunes. I'm talking to you first. Okay, Jeff. okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, when you say the title of the Ulu of worry, that does not connote into they being the owner of Wari Township or Wari South or local government. You see, let me tell you something. If you watch during the Wari crisis, during the Wari crisis, three commission of inquiry was set up. And those three commission of inquiries, they came up with a report, which the government, and I, I keep on saying it, that the government is the major problem that we're having. The three, we urge the government to republish and implement those reports. What are the reports? One of the reports, is to change that title from Olu of Ishakiri to 
to Oluof, from Oluof worry. Was, was that the major cause of the crisis? That was the beginning of the crisis. The, the worry crisis, crisis had been lingering. And in the Kurdish Shakira and some other parts, was that the major cause? Yes. The change of the name. The change of the was name. The, the worry crisis was, did not just burst out in 1999. No, I asked, was that the major that cause? That was one of the major uh -huh. causes. So it's not the major cause. It's one of the major causes. Uh -huh. So now, let me tell you something. So, so if the title if, has been there for how many years? Whether the title changed. has been there, and we have been there before the title came there. Mm. That's what we are saying. So they must change the title now. We listen. So when, some people are dis li that angry is what, about it. No, what I'm saying is this: if you are not changing the title, don't come and change the nomenclature that you own the place. I don't know if you are getting me. Worry Town, Worry Town is different from Worry South local government. Where is Worry Town? Town? Worry Town is Worry Township. Where is Worry Township? Where, where quarters are where? Exactly. Exactly, that is Warita. So from where? Okay, if you also want to point Warita, because Efuru obviously we know is not part of Warita. No. So if you want to point Warita, mm. so are you going to say maybe from that uh, NRA junction area down to Ausa quarters? From inside? Shell, from Shell. Shell, from Shell oh, to, no. uh, to yes, from no, from Shell Ram. Shell Ram, Ram NRA junction. NRA junction. Straight down to Mila. Through Ausa quarters. Through Ausa quarters to Mila. Eh? Mm. Then you go to the Okumaba, the Okumaba layout, layout and all that. You understand to the airport road houses. These are the worried towns. So that's worried. Because and, obviously, I know Ephraim is not part yes, of Yes, and we are telling, telling you now, we are telling you now, the two king, the two rubble kingdoms in Worry constitute substantial part of what is called Worry today. The other part is a job. Where are they occupying in Worry? Worry Township, not Worry South. Get, mm. me, get me right. Worry Township. The Shekri okay. peoples are okay. from the rural Chief. Chief. areas. Okay, I, I, want, uh, um, um, I want Mr. Omari to, to, to react to it. Uh, Mr. Murray, please, can you just throw more light also on this area, this land now that you are talking of that is the Ijo part of uh, Wari, as it were? Oh, de de definitely. The, um, there is a difference between the Wari Township and the other parts of Wari. For example, um, Wari Sanchi form parts of Wari South local government area. And like Okumamba said, a part of it is occupied by the rural people. A part of it is occupied by the young people of Ogbejong. Of course, the founding history is that they were the first people to settle by the Anchorage, the Wari Anchorage. And that is documented in all the histories. Then uh, you have the um, urban part of the Wari Township, which is the Kumangba, the Agbasa, and the rest. So its description of the Wari Township is perfect. Now, you talked about uh, the title of their traditional ruler. I don't think, I, in my opinion, humble opinion, that's a diversionary as far as the issue is concerned. Everybody know the history of how that title from, was changed in 1952 from yeah. the law of Ishekri to of law of Wari. But law has also resolved that. Let me point out this. The law, the traditional ruler's law, states that he's a traditional ruler of the Ishekri people. So the fact that he's called the law of Wari doesn't make him the traditional ruler of entire Wari. You, for in respect of the John people, the traditional, their traditional ruler is the parent of Ogbejong, that is the Marcus of Ogbejong. In respect of the Robo people, they have the Rose of Okori Robo. They also have the Ovio Fagbasa in respect of Ori Township. Then he is only the traditional ruler of the Chekri people. That has been settled by the Delta State Traditional Rulers Law. Okay. So I don't think that it is in any way relevant okay. to the okay. uh, present okay. exercise. Okay. It's I mean, diversionary, I mean, in my but opinion. The bickering. For the interest of peace now, the bickery is unnecessary because me growing up in Worry, yes. I used to enjoy the flourishing dances of Agbasa Juju Masquerade and the likes, you know, on those areas, you know. And there was a cultural interplay that what we are now seeing now is that since that fight of 1999, all of it is all set apart now. Now we are just trying to divide, you know, where from where we used to know. Now, from your uh, analysis, you see Urubu College, where Urubu College is now is not even a Worry Township. So Please, that's a form as it, as it goes it's there. Dr. Bati, over to you. OK. Yes. Now, uh, Chief Okumagba, I don't expect an Okumagba to say that his securities have uh, space in worry. Uh, I mean, you'll be, even be betraying you know, family honor and tradition. And I don't expect uh, Eric Omari uh, to also support his securities. But peace, you mentioned peace. Yeah. What efforts? It's not enough to just quote the ruling uh, of the Supreme Court per uh, Justice Abaji, what efforts are you, the communities, making away from the Supreme Court ruling to ensure peace? Are the elders talking to each other? Or all of you are waiting to say, well, if they didn't need these uh, words, there will be bloodshed, which Nigerians do not want. 
Mm, like Rick, Eric or Marie rightly said, there is no bloodshed anywhere. There is no threat. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. There is no threat. Worries come. Uh -huh. worry, if they deny those wo words, worry is will very be calm. There is, there won't be any trouble. Are you, sure? you see how they uh, are you sure? There is, there <laughs> won't be any problem if they delineate. And we are in the process. There won't be any problem. Hey, man, and are let you me tell talking you, to them? Let, I'm coming. I will get there. The I will get there. Let me tell you something. INEC constitute a focal pointers, three three per ethnic groups or ethnic nationalities rather, and we are working. Just this morning, on our platform, to tell you that everywhere is calm. Some people just trying to bring down the roof on top. Nothing like uh, uh, tension in worry. Worry is very peaceful, except hunger. Now, let me tell you, the, 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 the nine focal pointers, we, are, we have a platform. If I open my phone for you now, there was an information passed this morning, or last night, that the next stakeholder meeting will be held in Wari, as agreed at the meeting of April 6th. That the next uh, stakeholders meeting will be held in Wari. You understand that all the focal pointers should submit A, B, C, D, and E. If I open my phone, you see the three Shekri people they submitted. We are working. They are just trying to see how they can drag and give tension and see how the thing will be possible or not. Otherwise, nothing. INEC is working and they are working well. Then as for the peace you talk about, we are working and doing everything possible to make sure there is peace in Wari and by extension, Wari South local government area. We have suffered enough. We have suffered enough. This same kind of issue is making us to travel three hours to our state capital. This same kind of issue. Bring it. No, I don't bring it. Bring it. But this same kind of thing took our state capital to Asaba. Now, on the 9th of May, I'm a justice of peace. On the 9th of May, under the platform of the Association of Justice of Peace, we, I coordinated the Warrior Peace Conference. Perfect. Where all stakeholders were brought together, all ethnic nationalities were brought together to discuss peace. So we are working towards peace, and there is relative peace in worry, nothing is happening. There is no tension. Okay. On that note, we believe you, and we, you know, hope that uh, this matter will be resolved peacefully. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Eric Omari. Thank you, Chief Ukumagba.